My name is Richie Stanaway and I'm the driver of Car26 at Penrite Racing. So my journey in motorsport started from being inspired from my father who raced in Speedway. Uh, yeah, in my opinion, he was always very good. So I feel like I had to, I guess, live up to that kind of standard um, from, from what I'd seen him do as a kid. So I think um, that's sort of what I mean when it, I, I talk about the inspiration that I got from my father. I felt like I always had to go out there and, and also be a good driver. Um, and then that sort of uh, helped me a lot during my career, just, yeah, trying to live up to to a high standard and, and trying to perform at a high level, which it, it seemed like he always was able to do. But you can't race in Speedway in New Zealand until you're 12. And I grew up on a farm, so I ended up with a motocross bike and racing in motocross uh, from the age of four and then yeah, going to, to watch my dad race Speedway. So initially, uh, my goal was just to, to race in Speedway. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, enjoyed growing up on a farm and um, riding my motocross bike a lot, racing it a lot. And um, then at the age of 12, um, which yeah, felt like a lifetime waiting to turn that age because I just so desperately wanted to get out on, on the Speedway track. Um, so yeah, finally at the age of 12, did that. And then um, pretty shortly after that, ended up watching a lot of uh, V8 supercars and Formula One on TV. And then, uh, yeah, when I got a bit older, I realized there was no real professional path in, in Speedway, at least in New Zealand. Uh, and then uh, switched my focus to, to karting, and then uh, that rolled into single-seater racing, uh, which I started in 2007. I really raced in New Zealand for a couple of years before I ended up in, in Europe, racing F4, F3, all the way up to GP2, um, where, and, and then I ended up being a simulator development driver for the Williams F1 team and uh, Aston Martin factory driver before uh, finally ending up back in Australia to race supercars. We did actually have a couple of um, cars on the farm, um, which, uh, yeah, I was probably driving around at eight or nine years old. Um, so, yeah, when I finally ended up driving cars at a young age, I just remember, you know, being able to jump in and use a clutch without having to think about it, whereas a lot of the other kids that would have just done karting would struggle with, with that sort of thing. And, um, yeah, learning car control on the grass at that age, I think was, um, yeah, now that I look back, it's probably a um, pretty valuable experience at that age. I think around the age of 15 is when I really made the switch in my mind where it went from just being a childhood hobby to a definite decision that I wanted to pursue it professionally. So I went to Germany when I was 17 to race in their F4 category. Um, and yeah, I mean, I just, I knew I had to, to get over there and to be racing in, in Europe. Um, I always sort of had in the back of my mind, the idea that if I didn't make it to F1, that I would love to race in supercars, which is obviously how it ended up. But, um, yeah, I was living in Berlin at a pretty young age and, um, yeah, it was a great experience. It's interesting actually, because my whole life I've felt homesick from not being in New Zealand. So every single year that I've done motorsport, I've always had that feeling like I was making a sacrifice and I um, would always really look forward to November or December when I could fly home for the for summer. But uh, since I had my break from racing uh, and I got to live back at home for a few years, uh, I sort of just realized that it doesn't really matter where you live, it's um, you have to just live where you're going to have the best career opportunity and where you're going to find the most fulfillment in your work. Um, and now that I got a chance to, to realize that and I've moved back to Australia and being away from home, I feel like it's the first season of motorsport I've ever done where I 
can just come and enjoy it without that feeling of homesickness. So um, yeah, I've been really um, appreciating that feeling and been loving my time here in Melbourne. Uh, and yeah, it's just been, been great ever since I've moved over here. Yeah, I've noticed a huge amount of support since I've come back, which I've really appreciated. I've felt, yeah, a really warm reception from a lot of the fans and it's something that I want to continue growing uh, and I think, yeah, that will come just through results, um, which is what we're working on really hard to achieve this year. I want to try and get a pole and a win as soon as possible and um, yeah, then I think the, the support we've had from the fans will only get bigger and better.